As uh, Chef Wayne is here from Joe Forte's, and you're going to make us look like superstars with our friends when we're trying to make a little something special. Absolutely, we're going to make chia pino, and chia pino is really easy. I think people have this fear of trying to make it because there's lots of steps. So what we have here is we have carrots, onion, celery, leeks in olive oil. Right. Um, and then we have a little bit of tomato paste in there. We just want to kind of brown that a bit. Cook it down a little. Let it sweat a little bit. Right. Get some color on the tomato paste. We're going to add our fish stock. Which you can buy anywhere. A absolutely. You can buy it from really good uh, fish markets. They usually have um, fish stock already pre-done. Yeah, we're very lucky with that with our uh, absolutely. foods. Okay, so now you've got all of your, we have all your seafood. seafood ready to go. And do we have to worry about what we put in when? You want to put, no, you want to make sure everything's cut the same size so it right. all cooks the same okay. time. So we have some Throwing halibut in. and salmon. We have some jumbo prawns. Yum. We have some crab legs, some scallops. All just going in the same pot. Absolutely. And would you do this with your guests sort of already assembled? Is this uh, a yeah, straight Yeah, absolutely. To table you want to get it right to table. So you've got clams and mussels. Clams and mussels. Also going in there. Yep. And now you want to give it a mix now. You don't want to mix it once it's cooked because then the seafood will all break up. Right. So that's give it a mix a while it's raw. Really that's really a key, cook. really key to this. We're going to add some fennel seeds. And you don't want to stir it too much after. No, because all the fish will break. And you want a really hearty fish. Right. Okay. So fennel seeds. Fennel seeds. Fresh thyme. Thyme. A little sambal for a little heat. Kick. And some saffron. You can get saffron. this recipe on our website, by the way. We. Uh, that, it's that easy. It's that easy. Honestly, really? Yeah, that's it. And so then we're going to cover, cover that. Now, how long? That's probably going to take one, like six, seven minutes. It does not take long. So it just speaks to you. And even the muscles will tell you when they open. Uh, when they're open, absolutely. Okay. And pre-make the broth ahead of time, the day before, and then put it in the pot, bring it to summer, add your seafood. It's literally that quick. See, we can look like superstars. So we just, you could probably, if you're a novice at this, take the recipe, go to the fishmonger and say, set me up with this, uh, Absolutely, right? absolutely. Make me look like Chef Wayne at Joe Fortes. Or, ta-da! And we have one done here. Yes, you do. Everybody just sighed in the control room. So we're just, and a little bit of crispy, We have some cr little garlic bread. crisp bread there for, for the top. So we're going to just arrange our shellfish around it. So we have a $100 gift card for Joe Fortes that Chef Wayne brought along. Thank yep. you for that, by the You're way. Welcome. Contest at btvancouver.ca. Subject line, seafood, because this truly is perfect fall comfort perfect. food. On a day like today. A little bit of scallion, a little green onion. A little onion. bit of green onion. You've cut, cut up finely. Julienne really finely. Look and how pretty that is. Okay, I'm going in. Bread. There you go. So contest at btvancouver.ca, subject line, seafood. If you would like a Joe Forte's gift certificate, I'm going in, I'm tasting. So easy. Chef Wayne's Chiapino. You need to make this. Oh, Thanks. that is outstanding. <laughs> I'm you. sharing this with you. We will be back on breakfast television, and I will have an oddly uh, chiapino shaped mustache on after this. It's so delicious. We're back in a moment on BT. So good. You belong.